The Baltimore Polytechnic Institute, colloquially referred to as BPI, Poly, and the Institute, is a U.S. public high school founded in 1883. Though established as an all-male manual trade, vocational school by the Baltimore City Council and the Baltimore City Public Schools, it is now a coeducational academic institution that emphasizes sciences, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM. It is located on a 53-acre tract of land in North Baltimore on the east bank of the Jones Falls Stream which runs from the north near the Mason-Dixon Line. Border between Maryland and Pennsylvania to the south, emptying in the northwest branch of the Lower Patapsco River, inner harbor between downtown and Fells Point. Also running parallel to the extensive Poly campus is the Jones Falls Expressway, Interstate 83. The institute is located at the northwest intersection of Falls Road, Maryland Route 25, and West Cold Spring Lane in northwestern Baltimore City, bordering the neighborhoods of Cross Keys to the north, Roland Park to the east, Hampton to the south, Woodbury to the southwest, and I-83, Jones Falls to the west, and Park Heights and Pimlico further northwest. BPI and the adjacent Western High School All Girls, founded 1844 oldest girls public high school in America and one of the oldest compared to private, independent, secular single-sex schools as Poly formerly was until 1974 are located on the same campus, share several amenities including a cafeteria, auditorium, center courtyard and athletic fields, as well as a collaborative marching band recently united, now known as the Marching Flock referring to the two schools' mascots, the Poly Parrot, and the Western High Doves. BPI is a Maryland Blue Ribbon School of Excellence, cited by the Maryland State Department of Education. Topic: History. BPI was founded in 1883, after Joshua Plaskett petitioned the Baltimore City authorities to establish a school for instruction in engineering. The original school was named the Baltimore Manual Training School, and its first class was made up of about 60 students, all of whom were male. The official name of the school was changed in the 1893 to the Baltimore Polytechnic Institute by the Baltimore City Board of School Commissioners. The first principals were Dr. Richard Grady, Lieutenant John D. Ford USN, and Lieutenant William King USN, after whom one of the three main campus buildings, King Memorial Hall was named in the 1980s. The first building was located on the former site of the old Central City Spring on Cortland Street just north of East Saratoga Street of which the area was later contained in Baltimore's first urban renewal. Plan with the tearing down of five square blocks of houses along Cortland and St. Paul Streets to the west and the construction of Preston Gardens and St. Paul Place from East Lexington Street to East Center Street in the north in 1923. The former BMTS, BPI building and earlier elementary school dating back to the 1840s became home to the Baltimore City Department of Welfare and was later annexed by neighboring Mercy Hospital formerly named Baltimore City Hospital on North Calvert and Saratoga Streets to the east and later torn down for construction of their first hospital tower in 1964. In 1983, at the school's centennial observation, a historical plaque was placed in the lobby of the hospital commemorating that earlier first home of the manual training school for 30 years, later to become Polly. It just so happened in an amazing coincidence, that this building was across the street and 44 years later, almost a half century after their longtime rival public high school the Baltimore City College City was established in a row house in 1839 for a few short years, also on the now-vanished narrow alley like Cortland Street. North Avenue was formerly Boundary Avenue, 1818–1888 Northern City Limits, between North Calvert Street and Guilford Avenue to the east. <laughs> Relocation Due to continued growth of the student population of the BCPS and especially in the growing demand for higher secondary education at high schools like at BPI and BCC and the girls' schools, the technical school relocated in 1913 to Calvert Street and North Avenue. The former 1860s converted mansion of the Maryland School for the Blind was purchased sitting on a slight hill and two massive wings on the east and west sides were added with a Greek Revival-style columns on the front façade. For the first time in its 30 years history, Tech 
had a suitable building expansive enough to handle both its academic and technical education requirements. By 1930, the old original central wing of the mansion was raised and replaced by a simpler center wing between the two flanking 1913 structures with an additional large enormous auditorium, gymnasium wing further to the east facing North Avenue were constructed. This massive assembly hall was the largest at the time in the city and served many secular, civic, cultural occasions and events for decades into the mid-1980s. While at this location, the school expanded both its academic, technical and athletic programs under the extensive longtime supervision of Dr. Wilma D. Huff, who was fourth principal from 1921 to 1958 and reluctantly see below oversaw the racial integration of the school in 1952, the first instance in city of Baltimore public schools with admitting African American, then called, Negro, colored. Students and two years before the rest of the nation took up this serious issue of discrimination addressed finally by the Supreme Court of the United States in May 1954 in the famous case of Brown v. S. Board of Education of Topeka, Kansas. Previous black students had attended Frederick Douglass High School formerly the Colored High School second oldest in the nation, founded the same year as Polly 1883 and the Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School D. Huff later served after his 37 years career at Polly, as the president and dean of faculty at the University of Baltimore on Mount Royal Avenue. Integration, desegregation Most Baltimore City public schools were not integrated until after the Supreme Court decision in Brown v. Board of Education. BPI had an unusually advanced and difficult college engineering A preparatory curriculum which included calculus, analytical chemistry, electricity, mechanics and surveying. These subjects were not offered at the black high schools in the city before 1952. BPI was a whites-only school but supported by taxes on the general population. No black schools in the city black students could not attend whites-only schools offered such courses, nor did they have classrooms, labs, libraries or teachers comparable to those at BPI City College. Because of this a group of 16 African American students, with help and support from their parents, the Baltimore Urban League and the NAACP, applied for the engineering A course at the Poly, the applications were denied and the students sued. The subsequent trial began on June 16, 1952. The NAACP's intentions were to end segregation at the 50-year-old public high school. In the BPI case they argued that BPI's offerings of specialized engineering courses violated the separate but equal clause because these courses were not offered in high schools for black students. To avoid integration, an out-of-court proposal was made to the Baltimore City School Board to start an equivalent. A course at the «Colored» for non-whites Frederick Douglass High School. The hearing on the «Douglass» plan lasted for hours, with D. Huff and others arguing that separate but equal «A» courses would satisfy constitutional requirements and NAACP attorney Thurgood Marshall arguing that the plan was a gamble and cost the city should not take. By a vote of 5 to 3, the board decided that a separate «A» course would not provide the same educational opportunities for African American students, and that, starting that fall, African American students could attend Poly. The vote vindicated the NAACP national strategy of raising the cost of separate but equal schools beyond what taxpayers were willing to pay. Thirteen African American students, Leonard Cephas, Carl Clark, William Clark, Milton Cornish, Clarence Daly, Victor Dates, Alvin Giles, Bucky Hawkins, Linwood Jones, Edward Savage, Everett Sherman, Robert Young, and Silas Young, finally entered the school that fall. They were faced daily with racial epithets, threats of violence and isolation from many of the more than 2,000 students at the school. The first of those students to graduate from Poly was Dr. Carl O. Clark in 1955. Dr. Clark went on to become the first African American to graduate from the University of South Carolina with a degree in physics in 1976. Topic: <laughs> BPI Complex. 
In 1967, then Principal Claude Burkert (1958–1969) oversaw the relocation of his school to its current location at 1400 West Cold Spring Lane, a 53-acre tract of land bordering Falls Road and Roland Park. Also occupying this site is the Western High School, an all-girls school founded in 1844. Notable buildings on the campus include Dehuff Hall, also known as the Academic Building, where students attend normal classes, and Burkert Hall, also called the Engineering Building, where students attend classes in the Willard Hackerman Engineering Program. Both Western High School and Poly students make use of the auditorium, cafeteria complex, and likewise share the swimming pool and sports fields. While these two schools share grounds and buildings, that is all they share, their respective academic programs are completely separate from one another. The students of each school are not allowed on the other school's grounds without permission. In 1974, Poly officially became coeducational when it began admitting female students. The first female to enroll and successfully graduate from the A course was an African-American named Cindy White 1974 In the late 1980s, the title, "'Principal' was changed to "'Director' after the retirement of Director John Dollar in 1990, Barbara Strickland became the first woman to head the school, as she accepted the title of Interim Director. During director Ian Cohen's tenure (1994–2003), Polly's curriculum was again expanded when it began offering app classes. During the 2001–2002 school year, Polly was recognized by the Maryland State Department of Education when Polly was named a Blue Ribbon School of Excellence. In 2004, Dr. Barney Wilson, a 1976 Poly graduate, became Baltimore Polytechnic Institute's first African American director. In August 2010, Assistant Principal Matthew Woolston, was appointed as interim director of the Baltimore Polytechnic Institute. In 2011, BPI was ranked 1552 nationally and 44 in Maryland as a silver medal school. By the U.S. News & World Report, later on during the year Jacqueline Williams was appointed as interim director of the Baltimore Polytechnic Institute for the 2011–2012 school year. By the end of the school year, and after a two-year, nationwide search, Jacqueline Williams, class of 1981, was appointed as the first female director of the institution. Williams has worked her way through the poly ranks from student, to a teacher, to a department head, to assistant principal, and to dean of students, to her current position as director. Academics Athletics Topic. Football Since the early 1900s the engineers, along with City College, had dominated the Maryland Scholastic Association football scene. However, since joining the MPSSAA in 1993, Polly made it to the final game once in 1993, the semi-finals once in 1997 and the quarter-finals in 1994 and 1998. Topic. Poly and City The Poly City football rivalry is the oldest American football rivalry in Maryland and one of the oldest public school rivalries in the U.S. predated by the rivalry between the Boston Latin School and the English High School of Boston. The rivalry began in 1889, when a team from Baltimore City College City met a team from the Baltimore Polytechnic Institute Poly, and has continued annually. Despite City's initial dominance in the series, Poly leads in overall wins with the record standing at 6-2, 6-1-6. Early years Little is known of the first American football game between Baltimore Polytechnic Institute Poly and Baltimore City College City in 1889, except that a JV team from Poly met City, in Clifton Park and City emerged the victor. That began the oldest football rivalry in Maryland. 
City continued to win against Poly through 1901, however in 1902, for the only time in history of the series no game was played, though, in 1931, an extra game was played to compensate. Between 1903 and 1906, City won the series, but the tide turned in 1907, when the first tie in the series occurred. The next year Poly scored its first victory in the rivalry. Topic. 1910s and 1920s Poly dominated the series in the 1910s. The only year of the decade that City won was 1912, and between 1914 and 1917, Poly shut out City. Poly's streak continued through 1921, completing a nine year winning streak, which City broke in 1922 with a 27-0 victory. In 1926, one of the most famous Poly City games was played. Prior to the game, the eligibility of City's halfback, Mickey Noonan, was challenged. A committee was formed to investigate Noonan's eligibility, but Noonan's father frustrated with the investigation struck one of the members of the committee. The result was that Noonan was not only barred from the team, but also expelled from the Baltimore City school system. In spite of Noonan's removal, the two teams met at the Baltimore Stadium with 20,000 fans in attendance. The game remained scoreless well into the fourth quarter. Finally, Polly's Harry Lawrence who later became a coach at City kicked a successful field goal from the 30 yard leading to a 3 0 victory over City. Topic: 1930s and 1940s. The 1930s ushered in a period of resurgence for the City team. Polly, which had dominated in the previous two decades, only picked up two wins in the 1930s. In 1934, Harry Lawrence, who had kicked the winning field goal against City in 1926, became the head coach at his former rival. Lawrence led City to a series of victories over Polly through the 1930s and early 1940s. In 1944, the game, which had been played on the Saturday following Thanksgiving, was moved to Thanksgiving Day. The change was the result of a scheduling conflict with the Army-Navy game. The game remained on Thanksgiving Day for nearly 50 years. <laughs> Lumsden and Young, 1950s and 1960s Polly won five straight games against City to open the 1950s, and nine of the decade's ten games, under legendary coach Bob Lumsden, for whom the school's current football stadium is named. Lumsden finished with an 11–7 record against City when he retired as head coach in 1966. He also coached 9–0 Polly to the unofficial National High School Championship game at Miami's Orange Bowl in 1962, against the Miami High Stingarees, but Polly lost by a score of 14–6. The team's fortunes changed later in the 1960s, when City was coached by George Young. Young guided his teams to six wins over Polly, and an equal number of Maryland Scholastic Association championships. One of Young's most memorable victories occurred on Thanksgiving Day, 1965, at Memorial Stadium, when undefeated City beat undefeated Polly 52–6. 1970s Present Polly controlled the series throughout the 1970s, and well into the 1980s. City lost a total of 17 consecutive games to Polly, before winning the 99th meeting between the two programs in 1987. Polly's dominance during this period is the longest winning streak in the series. City also went on to win the historic 100th showdown a year later, before Polly got on another roll, starting with the 101st clash in 1989. Baltimore City's public schools withdrew from the Maryland State Athletic Association, in 1993, and joined the Maryland Public Secondary Schools Athletic Association MPSSAA. This change meant that the football season would end earlier, forcing Polly and City to move their game from Thanksgiving Day to the first Saturday in November. Polly and City met for the 119th time in November 2007, a contest marred by the outbreak of a large brawl outside M&T Bank Stadium after the final whistle. Polly and City met for the 120th time on November 8, 2008. 
Baltimore Polytechnic Institute and Baltimore City College then met for the 121st time on November 7, 2009 with a score of 26–20. Poly and City met for the 122nd time on November 6, 2010. As of the 2018 game, City had won the prior seven contests. Principals, directors Dr. Richard Grady (1883–1886), Lieutenant John D. Ford (1886–1890), Lieutenant William King (1890–1921), Dr. Wilmer D. Huff (1921–1958), Claude Burkert (1958–1969), William Gerardi (1969–1980). Zenny Jacobs, 1980 to 1984. Gary Thrift, 1984 1985. John Dollar, 1985 to 1990. Barbara Strickland Carrot, 1990 1991. Doctor Albert Strickland, 1991 to 1994. Ian Cohen, 1994 to 2003. Sharon Cantor Carrot, 2003 2004. Drive. Barney Wilson, 2004 to 2010. Matthew Wollstone Carrot, 2010 2011. Jacqueline Williams, 2011 present. Carrot denotes interim director while a search for a permanent director was occurring or ongoing at the time. Topic: Notable alumni. Topic Arts, Literature and Entertainment H. L. Mencken, 1896 Writer Mark Longo, Artist J. Deal, Hollywood Composer, Producer William J. Murray, Son of Atheist Madeleine Murray O'Hare Neil Conway, Centennial Class of 1984 Songwriter, Producer Gypsy Woman Crystal Waters, Why You Wanna T.I. Walking. Mary Mary. Took My Love. Pitbull Edward Wilson, British Writer of Spy Novels Tani Hissi Coates, writer. Topic business George R. Hepburn, 1969-president, founder, and CEO, Dinnersplint Systems, Inc. Alonzo G. Decker, Jr., 1926-former chairman, Black & Decker Corporation. Topic. Education Jacqueline Williams, 1981 first female African American principal, 2011 present. John Corcoran, PhD, DHC, 1956 logician, philosopher, mathematician, historian of logic. Reverend Joseph Allen Panuska, SJ, 1945 president of the University of Scranton, 1982 to 1998, academic vice president and dean of faculties at Boston College, 1979 to 1982, provincial of the Seven State Maryland Province of the Society of Jesus, 1973 to 1979, a biology professor and director of the Jesuit community at Georgetown University, 1963 to 1973, and Jesuit priest. Reynard S. Kington, M.D., Ph.D., President of Grinnell College. Judiciary, law enforcement Edward F. Borgerding, 1941 Baltimore City District Court The Edward F. Borgerding District Court building was named in his honor. Alfred L. Brennan, 1948 Baltimore City Circuit Court 1988 Ben C. Clyburn, 1972 Baltimore City District Court John Glynn, 1964 Baltimore City Circuit Court Al Nance, 1967 Baltimore City Circuit Court Thomas E. Knoll, 1966 Baltimore City Circuit Court 1983-2006 Lawrence Rushworth, 1952 Anne Arundel County Circuit Court, 1989–1999 Legislative, political Nick J. Mosby, 1997 D. Councilman, District 7, Baltimore City, 2011 Current 
Anthony Ambridge, 1969 D. Councilman, District 2, Baltimore City, 1983–1996 Thomas L. Bromwell, 1967, D. Maryland State Senator, District 8, Baltimore County, 1983 to 2002. Andrew J. Burns Jr., 1945, D. Maryland State Delegate, District 43, Baltimore City, 1967 to 1982. Cornell Dipsky, 1950, D. Maryland State Delegate, District 46, Baltimore City, 1987 to 2003. Edward Garmatz, U.S. Congressman representing Maryland's 3rd District, 1947–1973. Joe Hayes member of the Alaska House of Representatives 2001 Clarence M. Mitchell, I.V. Maryland State Senator, District 39, Baltimore City, 1999–2003. George W. Willand, U.S. Congressional Constituent Representative, R. OK 1, 2001 present, U.S. Presidential Elector, 2000. Military Paul J. Wiedorfer, 1939 won Medal of Honor at Battle of the Bulge. Nicholas Kolayuta, class of 1942 enlisted on September 9, 1943. Pilot of My Akin B in WW2. Killed in action in 1944. Received Purple Heart, Air Medal, and other awards after death. Donald L. Gambrell, class of 1942, USAAF World War II, Captain, Lead Pilot, 830th Bomb Squad, 485th Bomb Group Heavy, 55 missions as B-24 pilot over Germany, Yugoslavia, Romania, Austria and Italy, awards, Distinguished Flying Cross, Air Medal with two oak leaf clusters, Purple Heart, Kia 10 April 45, Buried Florence American Cemetery, Block C, Row 15 Grave 39, Florence Italy. Topic. Sciences Dr. Carl Oliver Clark, 1955 physicist, first African American to graduate from the University of South Carolina USC with a Ph.D. in physics in 1976. Don L. Anderson, geophysicist, winner of the Crawford Prize and the National Medal of Science. John Retaliata, fluid dynamicist, former president at Illinois Institute of Technology. Robert H. Roy, Mechanical Engineer, Dean of Engineering and Science at Johns Hopkins University. Salvatore Sutera, Mechanical Engineer, former Dean of Engineering and Applied Science at Washington University in St. Louis. William Corcoran, Ph.D., P.E. 1955, Nuclear Engineer, Root Cause Analyst, Fellow of the American Nuclear Society 1981, American Nuclear Society President's Citation 2013. Robert Yelanovich 1961, noted theoretical ecologist at the University of Maryland Center for Environmental Sciences Chesapeake Biological Laboratory. Sports Antonio Freeman, 1990 former wide receiver for the Green Bay Packers, and Philadelphia Eagles. Greg Kyler, former wide receiver, defensive back in the Arena Football League Jim Ostendarp, former NFL player and head coach at Amherst College for 33 years from 1959 to 1991. Mike Pitts, 1978 played a dozen seasons at defensive end for the Atlanta Falcons, Philadelphia Eagles, and New England Patriots. Jack Scarbeth, former quarterback for the Washington Redskins and Pittsburgh Steelers, enshrined in College Football Hall of Fame in 1983 for All-American career at Maryland. Greg Schaum, former defensive lineman with the Dallas Cowboys and New England Patriots. Ricardo Silva, 2006 former NFL safety. Jack Turnbull, three-time Johns Hopkins All-American and 1932 Olympic lacrosse player, 1936 Olympic field hockey player, and World War II fighter pilot. Justin Wells, 2006 current guard for the Arena Football League. Laquan Williams, 2006 former wide receiver for the Baltimore Ravens. 
Elmer Wingate, former defensive end for the Baltimore Colts, All-American in both football and lacrosse at Maryland. Topic: <laughs> School songs and hymns. Poly fight song. Polytechnic hymn written by James Sagerholm, class of 1946.